Today we're looking at how to start seeds in a Jiffy peat pot, which is kind of a continuation of how to start seeds in a Jiffy greenhouse. So here I have a peat pot that I pulled out of um, one of those greenhouses. Um, I'll have another video up uh, showing me actually starting strawberries from seed. And um, I thought I'd, I'd take the opportunity though to just kind of show you about this, uh, this peat pot and how to use it. So let's first look at the top of it. Sometimes you will see where this top part hasn't actually been cut open. And in that case, you kind of have to just get your nails in and pull it. Uh, other times it'll be open like this and depending what you're planting, that could be perfectly enough. You don't necessarily need anything more than just that. Uh, if you do find that you want a little bit more space to work with, it's perfectly fine to just kind of rip the top a little and give yourself a little more space up top to work with. Now this um, is fairly firm, it'll hold together, but if you need to move it to like plant something and then cover it, you can just do that with your fingers. A lot of the stuff I sew, I either just set on the top for a surface sew, or I set on the top and I just briefly push a little bit of this, uh, this planting mix on top of it. But it's pretty versatile. Now, you may see here, <laughs> I got that wet. Um, you may see here that I have a, a number of different types of seeds uh, just to kind of show you. And obviously some of the, the water from the, the pellet has leaked down. But, um, you know, seeds really come in all shapes and sizes. This little thing right here might just look like a clump of dirt, but it's actually uh, the seed to a beet right there. And this other thing I'm pushing around that's also on my hand, this is a tomato seed. And a bean seed. Or a bean. <laughs> And um, this would be a, a winter squash seed. I think this one's actually for an acorn. And then you have seeds for your various uh, types of, um, I think this might be a spinach seed and this might be a kale seed. So the, the point is you have a lot of different seeds for um, different different things and they have different requirements for growing. So if you're planting like any of the very, very small seeds, basically depending on the size of the seed is what you do with it. So any of the very small seeds that are your herbs, your lettuces, leafy greens, sometimes broccoli, um, like any brassica basically that you'd be planting, you can generally just basically set it on the surface of this peat pellet. If you want to brush a little onto it, that's fine. Um, for, for something like a bean or a squash seed or something like a sunflower seed or anything like that, I just go ahead and do a little digging, just, just a little, and then you just place it down in there and then cover it over. I'm going to dig that back out. So, um, that's kind of your option. Now, as I said, the, the video I'm shooting, um, for, for, for another video is about growing strawberry seeds. And I actually ran out with, with one, one pod left. So I'm digging out some old seeds I had that are some one, Red Wonder wild strawberries. I've grown these before. Uh, they are a pretty good tasting uh, type of, of strawberry. Uh, they have basically no shelf life. They smush when you're picking them. Um, but they, they have a, a great flavor burst. So a lot of those, <laughs> I'll just, while I'm doing other things in the garden, maybe just eat them there or whatever else. Um, but they're, they're quite the treat and kids love them. So um, here's a whole bunch of them. See how itty bitty tiny these are? Like there's hardly much to these seeds at all. And when they do germinate, you know, they are these itty bitty plants. And depending on your light setup, you might need your light to be extremely low down to be able to actually make these grow. And you've got to have a tremendous amount of patience because they take a long time to germinate. You aren't sure they're ever going to, and then they just kind of peek up this little tiny thing. Like, 
was there some sort of weed that got in there or is the strawberry finally growing? And, uh, and so then you just have to wait and, and make sure you keep your peat pot moist and, um, uncovered at that point, but moist and, uh, they'll eventually grow. But in this case, these seeds are from a few years back. So I'm going to over, over seed. I'll just probably put this whole thing that's in my hand in here. Um, cause I'm not going to use these for anything other than um, you know, growing. So why not try to get at least a plant out of them um, in this this that I'm doing. And then I'll just place them back into, I have my, my tray here that actually has some normal strawberry varieties in it. And then I'll just place this one back into that tray right here. And then now it's in there with all the others. The others are different varieties, but we now know that, that that Red Wonder Wild Strawberry is in there. And I'll post a link here to that other video so um, you can see what I'm growing and all this other stuff. But I hope that uh, this did clear up the question for people that wanted to know how you actually do grow the seed inside these peat pots. Uh, we hope that you will subscribe, give us a thumbs up if you like this video, or hey, complain in the comments below if you didn't. And now it is time to fertilize your funny bone with best garden giggles. Why was the young seed afraid of being planted? He didn't want to get grounded.